Hello everyone, and welcome to part two of the uh, of well the guitar Qatar Grand Prix weekend series here on the. Uh, oh, let me start again. Hello everyone, welcome to part two of uh, Qatar. So we practice a qualify for P4 sprint race, despite a uh, safety car. If you've not watched the sprint race, go and watch it. Um. So uh, now we're on part two of round 18 of the Flocking Geese's Formula One My Team Career Mode on F4 23. And it's the uh, 29 lap Qatar Grand Prix. And our engine is at 66%. We can't change that because obviously we would get grid penalty points. The energy store. I mean, that's not a serious issue. It's not like the internal combustion engine because that gives us the power. That's the main. That's the main issue we have. Um. Obviously, when we come to the next race in America again, we'll have to uh, get a new one. We we'll have to score more penalty points. But. Uh, I'm afraid it was a, it was inevitable that we'd score a penalty point, so I'll be doing for the gearbox. So, and without further delay, let's get the uh, let's get part two underway, shall we? Welcome to Qatar, and yes, it is raining in the middle of the desert. It's going to be a thriller at the Qatar Grand Prix. Three point three miles, sixteen turns, just the one DRS zone, but it's a long straight. We are in the middle of the desert. There is artificial grass around the track to stop sand being blown over the circuit, but they're still going to experience it if they go wide. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position, and Goose completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton. Verstappen, Sainz, Leclerc, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Ocon, Bottas, Sonoda, Albon, Gasly, Stroll, Joe, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Sargent, De Vries, Williams, and Oscar Piastri. Now it lights out just moments away. It's time to go down to the track. And Anthony Davidson joins us for this one. And great to have your company. There's no weather to worry about here. What will be going through the drivers' minds as they finish these last-minute preparations? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Hi people, it's the Grand Prix, never mind the sprint race. We are starting P2 here for the uh, Qatar Airways Grand Prix. And we're off. And, that, and, that's, and that's a simple... Uh, the McLaren gets a good start there. The Ferraris though, not exactly the best start. But uh, the Goose <laughs> leads away to P1. Away for the uh, Qatar Airways Grand Prix. And he's off into the lead with Russell, Verstappen, Hamilton and Sainz. Behind the flocking goose himself, Russell trying to make headways here, trying to get past the goose, but he's uh, <laughs> trying to uh, just just keep in mind that the goose is not exactly a uh, a smooth driver. Everyone except Verstappen is on the uh, medium tyres. There is a caution going on, uh, but it looks like uh, the green flags is uh, cleared. But no, uh, Goose, uh, P1, Russell, P2, Verstappen, the winning Dutchman, P3, followed by uh, Lewis Hamilton himself, followed by Carlos Sainz, smooth operator for Ferrari. It's uh, awful! One of the McLarens is last, which means that uh, our teammate Callum Williams is doing well for once. But uh, this is the first lap only, so we have a long way to go before the end of this round. Now, just like uh, in Japan, I'm just going to basically show you all the interesting bits, as well as the first and final, like, final lap. Yeah. You know, just to cut the video down to make it more interesting. And as we go into the uh, the fast straight bit here, 
of this motor GP circuit. Not really designed for Formula 1, but anyway, we go to lap 2. We set the fastest lap of the race so far, 1 minute 34 respectively. And uh, Verstappen drops to position 4, allowing Hamilton to get past it to position 3, but Verstappen... Oh, hang on, no. I know what this is. It's just a classic Verstappen-Hamilton rivalry face-off thing. Nothing too interesting, but anyway, George Russell is still trying to make headway. His King's is the poor driving off, but ladies, man, trying to make headway here. Uh, oh, he's tried, and he's gone. But can the goose get in time there? And he dives, George Russell. Nearly rams into Verstappen. At the end of lap two now. So, uh, Verstappen, uh, Russell, Leclerc, and then ending up with Perez sitting the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. And uh, Verstappen, the whining Dutchman himself, uh, still recovering from uh, that loss of uh, his home Grand Prix. Wants revenge on the goose. And uh, he's trying to get past him. Trying to get past the goose, but he fails. I'm hiccuping. And I'm meant to be doing the commentary. <laughs> Hooray! Great commentary. But no, uh, the whining Dutchman becomes in position two now. Uh, ahead of Russell and Hamilton and Declare takes over his teammate uh, Carlos Sides for position 5 here. A lot of uh, in-team fights here between uh, both Mercedes and Ferrari. Uh, Perez is behind, I believe, both Ferraris. Stafford thought he had a chance there, but no, it is held behind by the Goose, who still, uh, three laps in, is holding position 1, hold position. How long? We don't know. Anything can happen in a race like this. Anything can happen in the next half hour. I love that race, Stingray. But no, it's a final corner now of lap three. And here we go, the goose goes wide. But does Verstappen get an inch on uh, the goose? No. It's too wide between Russell and. Oh my life, the goose goes in wide. Russell overtakes it to the start of lap four. Verstappen trying to get round the outside, but the goose cuts the inside. Does he get ahead of George Russell? Oh, almost it's neck and neck here. They're both literally facing each other. And the goose defends. That is a, a testament to the goose's defensive skills there. That is brilliant. Lap four, but... Uh, oh, there we go. And he's opened the door. And there's contact with Verstappen. Verstappen goes, drops to position four. Christ, that was a bit of contact there. He hit the goose hard. Did you see that? We're on board with the winning Dutchman here. And BAM! He must, I think he's lost a bit of his wing plate as well. Can we, uh, do we have a little look at that? Uh, so that's Hamilton next to Verstappen. Yes, he's lost a bit of his end plate. You dumb fuck. But anyway, uh, Russell takes position one from the goose. Uh, I don't think the goose is very happy with that one, but uh, we have to keep form, we have to keep, mate, we have to maintain the, uh, oh, what am I talking about? It's the goose for Christ's sake. Principles and rules? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do one thing on this uh, in races. Armageddon, raise hell, <laughs> cause mayhem and chaos. <laughs> but um, no, oh, we nearly flew then. We literally, literally took off then, like at our airways. Just like that, and we've got off the map. We've got very wide onto the uh, Middle East uh, little art thing there. Floor art, as I like to call it. But uh, no. Uh, Verstappen's dropped, he must have gone into the pit lane, leaving uh, Leclerc and Sainz to take positions 4 and 5, yeah, respectively. Russell takes the uh, fastest lap of the Grand Prix. We move to lap 5 now, because nothing really happened after that. And Hamilton, Hamilton overtakes the goose here at uh, lap 5. Shut up, Mark, you're not helping. No, what do you mean making mistakes? The goose is making mistakes right here. He's off the track again. How are we actually keeping up with Hamilton? I don't know. The Clarence signs so are still fourth and fifth, but uh, yeah, we got DRS. Oh yeah, DRS is enabled. George Russell for the second time now sets the fastest lap. However, we are gaining on Lewis Hamilton, his teammate. And do we get him? Oh my life! We nearly spun, and we used Hamilton as a uh, little uh, counter there to to stop us from spinning. But look, use him as a wall. Use your surroundings. 
surroundings is key in a race. If you have to, if you have to use other drivers as a braking barrier, then use them. But uh, no, Russell has literally taken off into the background, uh, three seconds in front of us. Leclerc's on the soft tyres as well for some reason. Interesting strategies being uh, played out here in uh, the Middle East. Unlike uh, some strategies. Right at the moment. But, uh, yes, moving on now. Uh, three and a half seconds is uh, George Russell in front of us. Hamilton is attempting to uh, overtake the Goose for the second place podium. Uh, the Goose is holding uh, position two very nicely, for now anyway, as we go into the final straight now, into the lap long the pass straight here, into the start of lap seven, and Hamilton gets the better, gets the fast, he gets the, uh, gets the momentum, we've got the two Ferraris behind us, oh this isn't good, the two Ferraris are fighting each other, literally fighting, and then you got uh, Hamilton being uh, overtaken by the Goose there for position two, which is very nice. But uh, Russell is, he's long gone. There's a reason why he's king's in number one driving off that ladies, man. Although Simon trains in 37 my tabs, so we can say about that. Anyway, Max Verstappen <laughs> sets the fastest lap of the, uh, the Whiting Dutchman sets the fastest lap of the, uh, the race. So far. But, uh, yeah. See, see, I have this, I have, oh, we, we, we overcooked that, and Hamilton's going to uh, get the better of us. Yes, he does. But no, the Goose, with the overtake button, takes back position two, just like that. Really nice, that was, oh, my life, there goes Hamilton into the background. He drops back to position four, with Carlos shows that was, that could have ended horribly for Hamilton. Oh, my God. There's no limit. No limit to the goose's talent of destruction. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, I have this problem. So there's three tracks in America, and there's three tracks okay, in the so Middle East. The there's Abu Dhabi, there's Qatar, and then there's Bahrain. Actually, no, there's four. Four! Damn you, Middle East. Anyway, uh, we move on to the start of lap number nine. I do apologize for the dogs in the background. That's not my dogs, it's the neighbor's dogs. Damn you, neighbor's dogs. I'm trying to film here. I'm not, I'm not trying to film. I'm trying to record here. Sites and uh, Hamilton are uh, trying to uh, fight for P3. But anyway, they got problems because King Alonso is in position five and he wants Carlos Sites is position four. And Hamilton's trying to uh, try to get back position two from us, failing. But no, uh, Sites is in trouble. <sighs> Former world champion uh, Fernando Alonso, position five, Baston Martin. I I love saying that, King Alonso. Thanks to Rockstar Paul 69 for that. Uh, so go and subscribe to Rockstar Paul 69. Check out his F123 manager and my team career mode. For uh, excellent content from uh, Haas, well, Haas Racing and uh, Team Chase Liner. But anyway, uh, Hamilton gets the better of us for uh, the start of lap 10. Does he get away? Yes, he does. Me leaving us at the uh, the mercy of uh, Fernando Alonso, King Alonso, as we like to refer him as. Uh, getting in, uh, tr get making headway here, but uh, he's on the soft tyres as well. What is it with people on the soft tyres? They don't last very long. Okay, they give you grip. They give you grip, but... Eh, I don't know. Anyway. He's trying to make headway here, but Hamilton's gone. Meanwhile, Russ... Oh, we are... Oh, we literally took... We literally took off. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And Alonso has overtaken us for position three. We are dropping behind... And for Stafford, he's out! Victory! And we overtake Alonso for position 3 at the start of lap 11. Russell is...
almost 13 seconds in front, and here we go. He's he's behind Williams, I think this is. Our teammate. And look at him. He maxes out, 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 maxes out. Du, du, du. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Anyway, that's a Verstappen out of the way, just like uh, the Dutch Grand Prix, his home Grand Prix, which is absolutely hilarious. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it, and we go into lap 12. Russ Russell is 16 seconds in front of us. Hamilton is four and a half. Alonso just she just takes us round the outside, showing us why he literally is King Alonso. And uh, Checo's behind us now, or Sergio Perez, the uh, actual proper Red Bull racing driver himself, uh, with uh, the Monaco madman Charles Leclerc in P6. Uh, but nothing really happens really after this point, so uh, I'm just showing you the interest spot. So uh, here we go, into the pit lane now, and Leclerc and Sainz. Oh, Sainz is going through. Oh my god, those tyres. 78%! Jesus, those tyres have taken a battering. Who else has pitted? Uh, Alonso's pitted, Leclerc, Norris, Albon, Gasly, Magnussen, Joe. Uh, oh, Stop moving! Ga yeah, everyone's. Yeah. Okay, people have pitted. Div oh no. Holy Jesus, that's an unsafe release! That's. That. No! No! You can't do that! They just did. Jesus! We're on the hard tyres as well. What is this? Uh, we're P20. Uh, Kevin Magnus said that was we need oh, we got the, the CEO of the goose myself will be having words with team Haas uh, After this I think after that unsafe release because that would technically be a crash If it was not for the invisible transparent ghost thing Why should you say that really? Ironic because <laughs> Look at Verstappen, he's DNF, right, but he still holds the fastest fucking lap. Oh, he's a, he's a stubborn Dutchie, isn't he? Stubborn, whiny Dutchman, Jesus Christ! He'll do anything, buddy. If he can't win the race, he'll still have the fastest fucking lap. Uh, never mind. Uh, teammates are the pissed. Okay, I nearly said, to, I, I said to teammate, uh, <laughs> I can't speak, Williams is in the pit lane, changing tyres, and we're on the hard tyres for some bizarre reason, who is in charge of the, of the end of a pit crew today, I don't know, I specifically did not say, why, okay, so Sergeant Peter Piat, Aussie Boy Pastries pitted the Hollywood Lantern, do we minutes. get a, do we get out in front of Lunch Stroll? Yes, we do. Barely. But uh, it's still enough. We're in front of uh, Hollywood Lunch Stroll, uh, the other Aston Martin driver, who's not exactly had. Uh... And we've just we overcooked that again in lap 14. He's not exactly a good season as well. He's had a few retirements lately. Uh, Stroll did. But um, no, Charles Leclerc. Takes uh, the fastest lap, and we got a few people pitting: Hulkenberg, Bottas, uh, Perez, Ocon. Do we get out in front of Perez? Oh, that's close! <laughs> oh, to start on lap 15, we nearly literally ran Perez off the road there. <laughs> Nothing to see here, and we're back in the points, uh, points podium, uh, points uh, area here for point. Oh, we're in the top 10. Uh, further on in lap 15, holding position 10 for just one point, better than zero points at the moment, but uh, we have uh, Perez and Stroll behind us, uh, Albon and Joe Grandnew in front of us, and we lose that position 10 from Sergio Perez, but the goose is, uh, he's got, he hasn't got DRS, but he has got the overtake button, and he's got the Red Bull power, does he get it in? Someone's pitted, I don't know who that was. But does uh, Perez get round the outside? No, the goose cuts him off and there's contact between the three cars behind us. So Stroll. And something's wrong with the back wing. DRS 
this will be offline. There's a fault with the rear wing system. Oh, Stay not out. again. Work on a fix remotely. Yeah, this happened during the uh, practice of qualifying. We qualified, right, without okay, a flipping back wing. Uh, lap 17 now. And, uh, yeah. I, 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 I do apologize. It can get quite boring, most of these races. That's why I, only, that's why I cut it down. To just make it more interesting. Show the interesting parts. And now we're on lap 18. Uh, position 9. Uh, well, position 10. A uh, fighting uh, Lance Stroll. For position 9. We hold it down nicely. Perez P11. Uh, Joe and uh, Joe's five seconds in front of us, demonstrating uh, the worthlessness of oh, that. It just shows you how bad the hard tyres are on a, on a track like this in the Middle East. Tire temperatures also are driving. <laughs> oh, I know what my problem is. I'm too aggressive. That's my problem as a driver. I can't help it. I'm re I'm such a competitive driver. I thought that I'd given up the super over competitive course as we uh, undercook and overcook that corner. <laughs> Allowing a bit of contact there with Stroll. I'm really competitive. Yeah, and it, and it is prob and it can be problematic at times, I must admit. I have restarted multiple Grand Prix a few times over this. But anyway, uh, contact with Perez in lap 19 now. As we're still in position 9. We go wide again. Lap 20 now. Nothing really happened uh, except for this. Sojo Perez gets the better of the goose and on, takes off. A mistake. He might make a mistake. It's not him that makes the mistakes here. Stroll, what's he doing? That's it. Get in line, sir. He thought about it. But he didn't, did he? <laughs> Just as well, because the goose would have assassinated him. Here he goes, and Lance Stroll, he tried, he thought about going around the inside then, but didn't. Just as well. Oh, yeah, I was ranting early, wasn't I? What did I say? Yeah, I don't agree with the fact that there's four tracks in the Middle East and three tracks in America, because those tracks could. you could easily make up more countries with those tracks instead of having four tracks in the Middle East, so Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Abu Dhabi you can just have one caution, caution. lap okay, 21, the safety, safety car out. is safety out, car someone's is out. got a penalty oh hang on, someone has spun no, you don't overtake someone, you crazy person. Who's overcut? We're on board with, uh, I th that's Alonso. Uh, King Alonso has spun. Hey, oh, that near contact there with uh, the Red Bull and uh, the Ferrari there. Here comes McLaren. Oh, where's the wing damage where you need it? That was, uh, that's, that's probably, uh, that'll do it. So that's where the safety car's out. No uh, further explanations there. And now we have to keep behind Lance Straw and not do anything stupid. Okay, mate, we might oh, need to look at a new race strategy after that. I've got some options for you, so go to Oh, the and ladies and gentlemen, how to screw your chances of a race with Tico Zotter. Here we are, the goose, uh, the safety car animation now. Russell is P1, Leclerc P2, Hamilton. Gasly, Albod, Perez, Stroll, Goose, Ocon are your top 10. Uh, and in the bottom half, we've got Magnussen, Piastri, Sargent, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Sites, King Alonso, with a five second penalty to his name. Sonoda, Williams, De Vries, and Lando Norris. Here we are, coming up to the uh, the, f the final corner of uh, lap 23, with the safety car still out, it's the Aston Martin. And here comes the goose after his um, bump into uh, Hollywood Lance Stroll. Well done, goose. 
Now look what you've done. All that effort from P2. We were first, and now look at us. It's a common, it's a common running theme here. Uh, in in the uh, this first season, we start up well and then we end up disastrous, uh, either last or close to it. Oh, oh this is just this is a disaster. At least we're not for stopping. <laughs> he is out, out, out. For stopping is out. Da, da, da. Hey! Oh my god, no! What have they done? What has the pit crew done? What have they done? They've put on the medium tyres from. Oh my god! Those are the same medium tyres we started this Grand Prix on in lap one. And they've put them back on? Are they back? Why would you do that, you morons? Someone, someone is going to get sacked in the morning. They're getting sacked in the morning. They're getting sacked in the morning. They're getting sacked in the morning. <laughs> someone is going to get sacked in the morning. 80% wear on the front left wheel. I can't speak. 75 on the front right, 54 on the back left, 49 back right. Jesus! Who's fucking dumb idea in the pit crew was like, yeah, then we'll just use these media tires. That's fine. It's fine. What's the worst thing that can happen? A puncture? 85% wear now at the end of lap 25, start of lap 26, the goose boxing this lap uh, wisely. Oh my god, it's not good thing. Whose fucking idea was this? Whose genius idea was this? Lap 26 now and oh! Puncture, puncture. Front right tyre is gone. Front right tyre is gone, punctured. You can you can actually see it slightly um, if you look closely at the front right tire. But yeah, it's gone. You've got a punch on you. Oh really? We've we have we have not noticed, haven't we, guys and girls? No, we haven't. Of course, we don't want it. Strategy available on the MFT. Oh, it, 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 this is literally disaster. As we uh, managed to somehow get into the pit lane. <laughs> We did a whole lap on a punctured tyre. Give the goose some credit, people. We're last, but, you know. We, we made it to the pit lane with a punctured tyre and the, <laughs> the front left tyre was on 91%. Holy shit! Whose gee? How? Oh my god. I tell you what, the CEO of the Flocking Geese is literally having a... He literally re he's redesigning his fucking office right now. <laughs> redesigning the office and we're on the soft tyres. Oh, now we're on the soft tyres, eh? Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, the internal combustion engine and the uh, energy storage units are, uh, well, they're doing very well at the moment. Not... <sighs> Don't worry, the ES will be at 69% very soon and uh, it doesn't matter because... Uh, George Russell, for some reason, goes slow. The arrogant bastard. Look at him. And Carlos Sainz wins the Qatar Grand Prix because of George Russell's arrogance. Alonso is uh, P20 because of his uh, penalty, because of his spin out and uh, co collision with McLaren. I think it was. Uh, but anyway, the goose is going slow because what's the point? It's over. What's the, what's the point? But anyway, the race is over now. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. From P2, P1, and now P just last. At least we're not for Stappen. And Pierre Gasly, the man Gasly, comes around, driver of the day. Under the floodlights of Lasalle. I'm sorry, what the actual fuck? There, Leclerc the won the step. damn race. Stop Mercedes! Leclerc's been Gasly robbed! Davidson. 
a resounding victory Leclerc's today. Leclerc's been robbed by that arrogant Kingston. I feel like consistency was probably the Jesus, key today. Jesus, go on. Quick, and then this, been um, quick this is criminal. Lap after lap. If crime. You can do that, you can a crime has been committed here, live on your, your YouTube screen, people. You that is not field. fucking funny! After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. This result narrows the gap between our championship leader and the rest of the standings. So let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for your driver of the day? There's a few contenders, but George Russell definitely stood out, I think. A really solid drive from him today and one I'm sure the fans enjoyed. Let's move on to the constructors. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. That was a fucking disaster, wasn't it? We started in P2 for fuck's sake, and now we ended up last. Oh well, our fault for hitting the uh, hitting Lance Stroll, damaging the wing. And then for some reason, they give us the flipping, they give us the the, the tires, the medium tires from earlier, from the first pit stop. I don't get it. That's that's a that's a pit crew problem. That is, they give us tyres that we had from lap one to lap twelve, and then they think, oh, okay, we'll just we'll just put those tyres back on, the same worn tyres, and then we got a puncture. At least Verstappen didn't finish, so you know we've done something better than our rival, which is good. Callan. Fair play, three positions made. Okay, that's good. That's a result. P18. He's not last. Piastri would be my driver of the day, I think. He's made up 11 positions, uh, sp you know, considering uh, how the sprint race went for him. The man uh, deserves driver of the day as well. Uh, position 14 to P3 podium finish I think that's um, that's fair enough I think the man comes around as a uh, rockstar would say hey you steal my quotes from train to world 3 it's fair that I do the same here on Formula 1 so in other news we didn't do too uh, P 7th place overall yeah, okay, well, we'll take that. But, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Regardless of, uh, you know, the outcome. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other channel, Tico Sprinter. And we'll see you at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, USA. For the American Grand Prix and Sprint Race. Jesus Christ. Right, more American stuff.